why are we calling it an imposter syndrome it sounds like a very heavy word it sounds like a problem to me that people are dealing with mm-hmm. and sometimes they don't even know they're dealing with it i suspect that this whole imposter syndrome is a more internal conversation okay. how are you feeling about it so my my mother could tell me that look at sharma ji ki beti and look at how well they've done and you know you could get you just got 95 marks you should get 98 marks that's fine from my mother's perspective she is only trying to get me to do better goad me urge me perhaps motivate me but that's an external environment the question is what's happening inside of me so inside of me there are two um there are two kinds of emotions that could happen right um and and this is human behavior right because somebody else has got 98 and i've got 95 i can either feel inadequate and like a loser mm-hmm. and say ki yaar matlab i put in all all of my i put in my best mm-hmm. but i am worth only 95 i'm not worth 98 correct right the other is that i have let down those around me so th- there are a multiplicity of emotions happening inside of you at that time yeah. the other one is you know i am my mother thinks i'm worth 98 but i am actually worth only 95 yeah. and i have let my mother down that's imposter again right in its own form the third is me knowing deep inside that i've got 95 but honestly had i put in a little more hard work i could have been a 98 Mm-hmm. but that that difference of 95 to 98 in that last case is not a function of who else has got 98 mm-hmm. it's my race with my own self mm-hmm. so very often i speak the imposter syndrome manifests when we are unable to meet our own expectations or when we've met those expectations yeah, but didn't think we could or we would or we deserve or we deserve if you're entering in an organization you do not have any exposure of uh, workplace setup it's intimidating the dynamics are different and this could be even when you have your lateral hire you worked for 2 3 years somewhere else you're coming to another organization you're fairly new in the whole uh, workspace uh, setup what can you do if you're entering an organization and you have a question right The first level is the conversation within your own self. And I say this now as a manager. Right? So if I have a team member who comes to me and if there's a question, right? The first conversations within your own self to say whether is that question relevant, important, contextual. For that you really need to know your work and you need to understand the problem you're solving for, right? If after that you have a question, then first you need to be convinced you're a genuine question mm-hmm. so first that conversation needs to happen within your own self then you need to bring up that conversation to your manager mm-hmm. or to a group of managers as the case may be if you're afraid to ask that question with your managers it is not about you na sankal you have been through that process with your own self mm-hmm. then there's something wrong with the organization all right okay that you can't place your question and it's not facilitating that atmosphere it is not facilitating that atmosphere for your own, but like i said the first conversation is within your own self so you have to take the first step you yourself. have to first be resolved because mm. otherwise you will only be blaming organizations correct 